deadline is fast approaching. And, and Robert Sherman, Fox's own, is there for us with the latest. Robert, um, what are you hearing, and, and will they meet this deadline, these, these counties? So far, Andrew, we are hearing that the answer to that would be yes. We did. Uh, we were on a couple of conference calls with the Georgia Secretary of State's office today. Two deadlines to bring to your attention. The first is midnight tonight, in which counties across the state are required to conclude their audits. The second deadline is this Friday, in which the state of Georgia intends to certify the vote. And according to the Secretary of State's office, they feel good that they're going to hit both of those deadlines. But while all of this uh, hand recounting is going on here in Georgia. Some drama has been thrown into the mix that we want to bring to your attention. A couple of counties here in Georgia have uh, come across and found thousands of ballots that were not previously input into the system. Two in particular, one is Floyd County and another is Fayette County where we are right now. Here in Fayette County, a memory card was found in which there were 2,700 votes on that memory card. They were gathered, they were captured using a local officials rules uh, uh, verbiage here uh, but they were not uploaded to the system that was 2700 votes here's the breakdown about a little over 1100 were in favor of former vice president joe biden but nearly 1600 were in favor of uh, president trump uh, those numbers come to about a 450 to 500 vote advantage for president trump in floyd county that advantage was up towards 800. So some votes are being found in this area, but local election officials are chalking this up to what they call human errors, saying that they knew about the memory cards and that they had that they had gathered all the votes and that they had collected all the data. They, there was just simply because there are some new systems here. They say that it was human error that they, uh, in effect, forgot to add some of these votes to the system. So that is what local election officials have been working on here over the course of the past couple of days. The Secretary of State's office says that when you look at collectively around the state, all of these changes that are happening in terms of recounts, most of those changes do benefit President Trump. However, the Secretary of State's office, with adjusted numbers today, put former Vice President Joe Biden's lead at just under 13,000 votes. And uh, at, to this point, they feel as though that while a lot of these uh, new votes that are being found are benefiting President Trump, uh, they at this point don't see any situation in which the outcome would be changed here in the state of Georgia. But they are monitoring all of these as we approach the certification deadline on Friday. And Robert, uh, just to reiterate, uh, earlier when the first case of these votes had been found, I believe it was in um, Floyd County, uh, the Secretary of State there, the Republican Secretary of State, called on the county uh, elections administrator there to resign. Is he doing the same for these other counties where these votes have just been found? And like you said, they're, they're um, you know, blaming this on human error. What what will be, if anything, any punitive measures taken uh, with these county officials that they have found votes after the fact? The state's office today, it was, a, it was a very empathetic tone, saying that this is new territory for a lot of these counties, and they recognize that the pressure a lot of these local election officials have, and they said that, you know, they, 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 did, they, they, they effectively said that they, they're... Um, in, in, in effect, uh, not so worried about this from the standpoint that th they can understand how this has happened from that human error perspective. On, on the other hand, they have talked about before is that th they did make this point several times that policies were not correctly adhered to in some of these cases, which is what they're calling on a lot of these local uh, agencies in order to be much more cautious of going forward is to make sure that all of the precautions and all of the guidelines are followed appropriately. They said that if that had happened, then we wouldn't really be in this situation today. But again, there was an empathetic tone coming from the Secretary of State's office saying that um, for, for a lot of counties, this is a completely new process. This is new territory for a lot of election officials. And uh, there's a bit of understanding as to where that happened. But the, the tone has been set here that they do have to get this right, and they are calling on every county to do their absolute due diligence and to get every single one of these votes right down to uh, the single-digit vote. And they said a few counties are working on that tonight in order to make sure that the discrepancies are at zero, not just one, two, five, ten in some of these cases. Uh, and lastly, Robert, I was just kind of curious as well. I mean, uh, I don't know if you touched on this before, but, uh, you know, 159 counties in Georgia, can we expect... Uh, you know, within these five, a little under five hours here now before the deadline, for 
counties to find votes like they have been over the past few days. Is that a likely possibility? Today, they effectively laid it out as that anything is possible over the next couple of days um, because I mean, some of these votes have been found in counties, uh, as we mentioned, Floyd and Fayette County. They said that, I mean, the window is still open. That could conceivably happen here. It doesn't sound as though that there is an anticipation of any more curveballs coming their way, but there are still a couple of more hours to go here, so they, they are keeping their eyes open here. But most every county has concluded or at least gotten to a point where they're just about done with their auditing process, which is why the Secretary of State's office feels good that they are going to hit both of these deadlines, uh, the first one at midnight tonight and the second one on Friday. Uh, but they are keeping a close eye on what the next couple of hours have in store. All right, Fox's Robert Sherman there for us in Fayetteville, Georgia. Robert, thanks for that latest update there out of Georgia. Appreciate it. And like Robert said, that deadline will be approaching uh, tonight, and uh, certified results will then be certified by the state. Uh, those, those deadlines uh, are at midnight, and the Friday deadline for the state certification. Remember, almost 5 million votes were cast in the state of Georgia. They have 159 counties. They had to do a hand recount of each and every one of those counties. You'll remember, th Robert said, three counties found these votes, these extra votes for both Trump and Biden after the fact. They had to factor that in there. And so it's been definitely interesting in Georgia. We've heard a lot from the Secretary of State there. The Republican